what are we doing? Interview in two songs. Yes, well, we'll do the interview first, if you don't mind. So where's the capos, then? Which is the one that's wide enough? All of these are wide enough. As well as acting and writing, Broad Street provided McCartney with his first opportunity at composing incidental film music. In the past, he has written film themes, most notably The Honorary Consul and Live and Let Die, which was scored and arranged by George Martin. Here they adopted the same technique they've used over the years, McCartney providing the musical outline and composition, with George Martin scoring, shaping and producing the performance. Just play this just with the original guitar, just not the two. Yeah, a bit more original. This is very high up the neck. Can't really get my fingers to bogan. I don't think it matters playing that middle, because I don't think it'll get in the way of the harpsichord anyway. But I'll work something out. Okay? George Martin's association with McCartney began in 1962. In eight years, he produced every record the Beatles made, including 17 number one hits. His production became an integral part of their success. Quite a lot, lads. With the demise of the Beatles in 1970, Martin never expected to work with any of them again. It came as a surprise when eight years later, after Wings, McCartney approached him to work on his new solo LP, Tug of War, and subsequently, Broad Street. Well, one of the things that worried me when we started working together, and I said this before we actually... And then I'd sit down with George and show him the video and say, this is what I think. And I'd say, well, I see cellos doing that bit. And he'd say, well, wait a minute, you've just gone out of the cello range, so we'll, we'll bring it up a little bit and we can have the violas will do that. That technical information I need off George, because I, I, if, if, a, if a top note on a French horn is F, you know, I want to hear him play a G. A G. The problem is with our form, is we don't hear anything about eight kilohertz. So all the high fi stuff we put in. So can you play? Can you play this with no yeah. eight kilohertz in? Knock out everything. Yeah, I'll show it's going to sound. Can you give it just one cup of pipe? Yeah. As well as coming to grips with the technicalities of film music, McCartney saw Broad Street as an opportunity to experiment with new forms of composition. Yeah, and it's so got a one and two on it. Film going yeah. through a, a photoelectric cell, and it, it just can't cope with higher frequencies. That's impossible. 